What are some very creepy facts? The Colombian serial killer Pedro Alonso Lopez. Who is known as the monster of the Andes. Arped and murdered over 300 girls from Ecuador. Peru and Colombia. However. After he was caught and imprisoned for 18 years. He was put in a psychiatric hospital. There he was reviewed. Declared to be sane and was set free. In spite of his blatant avowal that he fully intends to kill again. Since he was released in 1998. Nobody knows where he is or what he's doing. He is supposed to be 71 years old at present. He is known for being the most prolific killer ever. If you get a blood transfusion and get the wrong type of blood, A. B. O. There is a genetic disease called fibrodysplasia ossificans progressiva. When tissue is damaged, it is replaced with bone. Growths form underneath their skin and their joints lock solid so over time those affected slowly become encased in a prison of bone just beneath their own skin. They usually have to choose between sitting or standing up for the rest of their life. Over 90% of serial killers choose their victims through Ezul Desire. In fact, bacteria and viruses can be frozen for millions of years and still be viably infectious. And having never encountered humanity before, could have no end of catastrophic results should they be uncovered and manage to infect a person or animal. Not to worry though. It's not like millions of ancient pathogens are currently trapped in permafrost which is now melting bit by bit each and every day. Humans eyes don't reflect light at night like animals do. I like to say this fact to my wife at a campfire. Your eyes have a separate immune system from the rest of your body. If they get damaged in such a way that it affects anything other than your eyes. Your regular immune system can attack the damage and will not recognize them. Meaning your own body can permanently blind you. What's worse? Your body cannot tell the difference between either eye. If one of them gets infected or damaged, your immune system can attack your healthy eye and take away your sight entirely. Rosemary Kennedy was JFK's sister. She suffered from oxygen deprivation at birth and that unfortunately stunted her mental growth. She had a pretty decent childhood. But as she grew older she began to act out. Afraid that her behavior would risk his political career. Her father. Joseph. Agreed to have her lobotomized. Her mother. Rose. Was against it and forbade him from doing it. So he did it behind her back when she went on a trip. After the operation. Rosemary's already low IQ was lowered even further. To the point she could no longer walk or communicate. Her family had her locked up in an institution and basically disowned her. They never visited and never publicly acknowledged her anymore. Rosemary died at the age of 86. Her mother never forgave her husband for what he had done. Remember that bath salts cannibal guy from a couple years back? He wasn't high on bath salts when he did that. That was just media speculation and bullshit. They only found pot in his system during the autopsy. We still have no idea why he flipped out. The Chankiri tree is a tree in the Cambodian killing fields against which babies and small children were bashed after their parents had been killed. The men of the ship SX, the true event that inspires the story Moby Dick, avoided islands after being shipwrecked for fear of cannibals. The islands were settled and landing there would have brought salvation to the survivors. Ironically because of this bypass. The men ran out of food and were forced to eat each other for survival. Cannibals find the palm of the hand the tastiest. Jokes on them. Sea cucumbers have teeth in their ass to prevent peel fish from sneaking in there and eating their balls. After arping his blindfolded victims. The Golden State Killer would be super duper quiet and pretend like he was gone and right when the poor victims would start to move towards the phone or try to untie themselves he would scare the f king shti out of them. One reason that crows and ravens are associated with death is because they would often follow armies as they marched to battle. Being both carrion birds and extremely intelligent. They realized that a large group of armed men marching on one direction meant that there would be a tasty meal of corpses to eat soon afterwards. Crocodiles can gallop. Like a horse. 
I don't like knowing this so I am cursing you people with this knowledge as well. Fortunately alligators cannot. So that's how you tell them apart. Imagine being totally aware of someone preforming CPR but you physically can't move or respond. Well that's what happens when you get bitten by a blue ringed octopus. You have approx 6 minutes between being bitten and someone starting CPR to keep your heart and lungs functioning to ensure you survive. All whilst being totally aware of what is happening to you. Neurotoxins are fun. The really creepy thing about this is one story of a guy who got stung. Got CPR performed on him and survived. But went blind because he was lying on his back. Eyes open. Unable to blink because of the paralysis. Starring into the sun. Imagine lying there. Unable to move. Unable to communicate. The sun slowly burning out your eyes and you can't shut them. The US has lost 6 nuclear warheads in total. It still fascinates me that you can lose something like a nuclear warhead much less 6 of them. Your brain can play tricks on you to make you see monsters in the mirror. Called the Troxler effect. The Troxler effect is an optical illusion that affects how you perceive things. Both visually and mentally. I once read that you should play dead if a bear attacks you. Unless they start licking your wounds because that means they plan to eat you. That still haunts me to this day. Edit. If it helps I'm pretty sure I was reading about grizzly bears at the time during one of my fevered grizzly man rabbit holes. If it's black fight back. If it's brown. Grizzly, lie down. The astronauts aboard the space shuttle Challenger most likely didn't die until they hit the water miles below the initial explosion. If the sun exploded right now, you would be blissfully unaware of it for just over 8 minutes while the energy travels at the speed of light to get to you. I hope it explodes at night time just to be safe. Edit. There's a spider that gives you a 3h long boner. Before you die from it bite edit. The boner it gives you is very painful. If it bites you you might as well dick slap it into next week. Polar bears are the only animals that are thought to actively hunt humans. Edit. Maybe not the only ones but. The human body can be drained of blood innate. Not everyone can afford a Dyson. Most people smell different when they're awake. That's my favorite thing to whisper. Since 1900, over 13, 000 people have been murdered by serial killers in the USA. Female mummies in ancient Egypt were always more decomposed than their male counterparts. They discovered that this was because male bodies were embalmed a lot sooner than female bodies. Female bodies were kept at the family home until they started to decompose in order to avoid necrophilia at the embalmers. There are upwards of 300 active serial killers in the world. Seems low honestly. 300 is a lot but out of 8 billion? Famous last words though. A single tiger has killed over 436 people in India. Peeling off scotch tape in a vacuum creates rays. We don't know why. Sense of impending doom is an actual symptom that often precedes your death. Usually in cases of heart attack. Very creepy for some of us that suffer from anxiety and panic attacks to begin with. Both share that symptom. Edit. As many of you are pointing out. Yes I used preclude incorrectly. There's a parasite that enters a fish's mouth. As a fish. Their eyes to cure and it sucks. According to Abe Lincoln's bodyguard crook. He said Lincoln had a dream about his own assassination three nights in a row before he was killed. Crook told Lincoln not to go on that fateful night. And all Lincoln said was goodbye. Crook before he went to the play. This was very odd as Lincoln always said. Good night not goodbye. I bring this up at parties all the time. When climbing Mount Everest. There's a point nicknamed Rainbow Valley or Rainbow Ridge because it's absolutely littered with the bodies of people who attempted to make the climb. Hearing is the last thing to go after you die. You just might hear the paramedics and firefighters call off CPR. Mount Everest is covered in frozen corpses because removing them is very unsafe and time consuming. 
they are easily viewed from the climbing routes and some are used as trail markers. CNN has had a pre-recorded broadcast from the 90s which they will premiere during the end of the world. After getting stung by a cone snail. You don't feel the sting for a little bit. There is no antivenin and it can be lethal. Treatment is basically keeping the victim alive until the venom wears off. Albert Fish. The serial killer. Loved eating poop. Edit. Didn't expect Uncle Albert's peanut butter to blow up like this. Check out the podcast Time Suck by Dan Cummins. He's got an episode about Albert Fish and goes in depth about other serial killers in other episodes. I feel like that's the least creepy thing about Albert Fish. Human brains when they dry out smell like cat piss that stinky ammonia smell. Worked in an ER for 17 years in CT. Had a gunshot to the head come in and a chunk fell onto my shoe and didn't notice. While driving home was like WTF did my cat piss in the car or something? Went to take my shoes off and there is was. Edit for all you people with morbid curiosity. Fresh brains look like cream cheese mixed with strawberry jam. Edit 2. No. They died. The stonefish. An incredibly venomous fish living in tropical waters mostly off the coast of Australia and parts of US. Can cause pain that only escalates with time. Eventually the pain will subside but even after the barb is removed. Patients have reported increasing pain 12 plus hours later. Without antivenom or denaturing the venom with excessive heat. The pain builds and builds until the patients request euthanasia. Its spines hold the venom. Hidden in its dorsal fins. Aboriginals living around the Great Barrier Reef have corroborees. Large gatherings. And will during these gatherings hold reenactments of people being stung by this monster, for what I assume is either amusement, learning, or both. Edit. Corroboree clarification edit 2. Pain does eventually end. Reminded of suicide tree where pain does not. Terrible leaves for toilet paper. Thank you for all the upvotes. So glad one of my parents horror stories from Australia is so well received. Pigs will eat anything. There are stories of pigs entering farmhouses and eating newborn humans. A black mamba is the fastest snake which can slither at a speed of 12. 5 miles an hour, 20 kmhr. They have neurotoxins which are fast acting. The venom shuts down the nervous system and paralysis the victim. Its venom is able to kill 10 people and it repeatedly bites. To add on to this. There is an almost 100% kill rate and can kill in 20 minutes. If you begin to display symptoms of rabies you will go crazy and die. There's no cure. Your brain will slowly melt until you're dead. Men who are hanged get a death erection. Known as rigor erectus. Pretty awkward for the family. I assume. More than 7000 people die annually due to the doctor's bad handwriting. Edit. I didn't expect this to blow up so much. So if you upvoted my comment. Thanks so much. Serial killer Richard Chase took any unlocked door as an invitation to come inside. The reason dogs like squeaky toys is because the squeak reminds them of small animals dying. They used real corpses in the 1982 film Poltergeist. For the ending pool scene. The actress did not know until after the scene was filmed. At roughly 1100 degrees Fahrenheit a body takes 2-4 hours to be ash. Cockroaches have been recorded eating human flesh. Both living and dead. As well as fingernails. Eyelashes. Feet. And hands. The American cockroach and German cockroach are more likely to bite humans than other species. Pretty sure Australian cockroaches do something equally creepy. But as an Australian who plans to sleep at some point in the future. I'm not going to google it. Blobfish in its natural habitat looks like a normal fish. But it lives so deep underwater that it doesn't use a normal gas bladder to keep itself balanced. Instead. It has a spongy skin that is slightly less dense than water. Which becomes damaged and bloated when fishermen bring it up too quickly. It's not really the ugliest fish. 
it has just experienced something worse than one of us being thrown into outer space. Between sea level and space. There's one atmospheric pressure of difference. Between sea level and 2000 feet underwater. Their upper limit. There's 60 atmospheres of difference. Contrary to popular belief. The space shuttle Challenger did not explode. The fuel tank it was attached to did. And it forced the shuttle to change direction so quickly that aerodynamic forces tore it apart. The crew module survived the initial breakup. And it's believed that some of the astronauts were conscious for the long fall back to Earth. Upon inspecting the wreckage. NASA also determined that some of the switches were thrown. It was once discovered that a fir tree was growing inside a human body. Artem Sidorkin went to the doctors suspecting something wrong with his lungs. The doctors thought they were dealing with a tumor but turns out he had inhaled a fir tree seed which had sprouted and had begun growing in his lungs. Did it. Wow so Grey's Anatomy is a popular show. I'm sure this was the inspiration for that episode. If you stifle a sneeze there's a chance you can damage organs in your head. Including eye blood vessels. Rupturing your eardrums. And possibly rupture a brain aneurysm. Which means there's a small chance stifling a sneeze can kill you. An elephant M sturbets by slapping its penis on itself. If you live to age 70 you will have shed around 105 pounds of skin. Edit. Because most seem confused. Cool. At least there's one thing to look forward to when I'm 70. There was a mad scientist who made two-headed dogs by attaching the head and front legs of a puppy onto an older dog. Both dogs were alive and could move. When the Soviets put the first animal in space. A dog named Laker. It did so knowing that it would never return alive. Laker died from overheating. Albert Fish. American a serial killer. Pedophile. And cannibal was convicted for the murder of three victims, two of which he ate. But may have had as many as 100-150 victims. A whale can come up to 100 gallons and only a small percentage makes it in. Imagine if every whale ejaculated simultaneously and it created a kind of colossal cum tidal wave. While almost never resulting in death. Cherries are poisonous. Their poison is so potent in fact that just two pits would be enough to kill nearly anyone. However. The outer shell isn't digestible and would simply pass through you without exposing you to the toxic core. But the next time you have cherries. Just remember that your teeth are millimeters from death. Some supermarkets package meat with carbon monoxide to preserve the product's color and freshness. Also mad cow's disease. Almost quite literally melt your brain. Edit. Other creepy facts. 1. Brain activity can continue 10 minutes after a person dies. 2. A solar storm in 2012 unleashed enough CME, coronal mass ejection, that would have completely wiped out the power grid and fried all electronics. Aircraft. Basically anything that was made with electronics on a global scale. Millions of deaths and anarchy. Almost the end of the world. However. The earth missed the event by 9 days. If it had struck. It would have taken 4 to 10 years to recover from the damage. There is no guarantee that the universe can't end at any second. Reddit. And most large social media corporations. Is actively waging a war on the information you're allowed to see. Profit driven corporations are controlling how you. Your children. And your friends operate on a day-to-day -day basis. It's f king insane. If you stay inside of the hospital for too long. You develop a form of delirium. People have came inside our IQ and after two months. Leave as completely different people. Their wives didn't recognize them anymore. Look up IQ delirium. 1938. France wins World Cup 1939. Australia wildfires out of control 1940. Tokyo Olympics cancelled. 80 years later 2018. France wins World Cup 2019. Australia wildfires out of control 2020. 
the CCP is systematically harvesting people's organs and running concentration camps. Amongst other things. I was just the 666th upvote for this post and it thundered loud as I liked it. A mortician can always tell when the deceased is a past hairdresser because of all the hair clippings from their clients found behind their eyes when they are removed. Also apparently they have hair inside a lot of other areas of their bodies. When you sneeze, your cardiovascular system practically shuts down for a half second. The blood flow heading back to the heart is decreased as the intrathoracic pressure is increased. Have you ever noticed a slight tightening in the chest whenever you sneeze? Yeah. Bless you is right. If you think you're afraid of being alone in the dark, you're actually afraid of not being alone in the dark. Dendrophilia is the s attraction to trees. There is a layer of water under the earth's surface and we don't know what creatures live in it. Also there's more water there than on earth's surface. This one freaks me out the most. When you flush the toilet the viral biome of the person who was there before you is thrown right at you. Now go enjoy the rest of your life with that in mind. Not if you're a logical person and close the lid. People believe that 5G towers give them the corona. That's not creepy. Not really a fact but more of a statistical certainty. You know how every couple of years you hear about some woman who escaped captivity after being trapped for years. Or how sometimes you hear about a child locked in a closet for 5 plus years. Yeah. Chances are right now there's a woman or child out there living in absolute hell every second of every day and won't escape for another several years. If they're lucky.